Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to create one to one chat in Sketchware. For this I will be using Firebase real time database. So this is my Firebase real time database and it contains a data location called users. This data location stores the user ID, Firebase auth user ID of all the users who have registered or logged in and it contains this user id contains a key called nickname which stores the nickname of all the users now this key nickname is never empty i have made sure that it is never empty by automatically generating a random nickname for each user in the beginning which the user can edit and change later so here when user logs in on main activity he moves to menu.xml and in on create of menu.xml i generate a random nickname for the user by getting the first four letters of his email id and picking a random number between 10000 and 99999 then i create a new map variable called user data put this string nickname using a key nickname and send it to firebase database users using this using the user id of the user as key and then i clear this map variable so for this i have this firebase db component users with path users so this will generate a user id for the user the user can later edit the user id on a profile page where i have this button called text view 5 save where he can change the nickname the nickname which i sent previously so when this text view 5 is clicked the user can change the nickname using this using his own key firebase users add key firebase auth get uid value user data now on this activity called menu activity i have a button which moves the user to all users activity i have a page called all users which displays all the users for displaying all the users here i have added a firebase auth component f auth and a firebase db component users then in on create i have nothing in firebase db users on child added i get all the data from this data location users to a list map called all users and i get all the user id of users to this list string called all user id for this i have added this list map all users and list string all user id and I display this list map all users in list view 1. Now in this event list view 1 on bind custom view. I check if this list map all users contain this, nick, this key nickname. And if it contains this key nickname I display the nickname in text view 1. So this will display nickname of all the users in this list view which is list view 1. Now when any of the nicknames is clicked or any item in this list view is clicked I use intent to move to chat activity and before moving to this chat activity I save the user id of first user I save the firebase auth uid of first user using this key first user and I save the user id of the second user which is the user name on which the first user clicks or nickname on which the first user clicks i get that i get the firebase auth uid of that user and save it as second user in this intent put extra key now moving to chat activity in chat activity i have this list view list view one which is a custom list view the custom view for this is quote and this custom view quote contains these two text views 
text view one for displaying messages and text view two for displaying the username or nickname. Now moving back to chat.xml, chat contains this edit text one for writing a message and text view five for sending a message. I have added these components here. This is the important part. I have added component called chat one, five HDB component chat one and a 5HDB component chat2. For chat1, I have set the data location to double quotes plus chat room plus double quotes. So here this chat room is a string. Similarly for chat2, I have set data location to double quotes plus chat copy plus double quotes. Here chat copy is a string variable. Then I have this 5HDB component users, users, data location users and I have a Firebase auth component f auth. In on create, first I stop listening chat1 and chat2. Then I have this string variables chat room and chat copy. These are the same strings which I added here double quotes plus chat room and double quotes plus chat copy. So I added these string variables chat room and chat copy. I set this string variable chat room to chat slash the user ID of first user, the Firebase auth UID of first user slash the Firebase auth UID of second user. This will be the string chat room and the string chat copy will be chat slash Firebase auth UID of second user and slash Firebase auth UID of first user. After that I set this 5HDB component chat1 is equal to underscore firebase dot get reference chat room and chat2 is equal to underscore firebase dot get reference chat copy. Here this chat1 and chat2 are the name of these 5HDB components. And after that I start listening chat1 and chat2. So next is on child added events. I use this on child added event only for chat1. I don't use it for chat2. So on chat1 on child added, I get all the data from chat1. This will be the user, this will be the chat room which the user who is using the app can see. So here I get all the data to a list map called chat chat room one and display it in a list view, which is list view one. Similarly on child changed also I get the data to list map chat room 1 and display it in list view 1. And I have also added this Firebase DB component users. So Firebase DB users on child added. I check if this child key equals the user ID of this user and if it is equal to user ID of this user then I get the nickname of this user and save it as user1 and if it is if the child is equal to the user id of second user then I get the nickname of the second user and save it as user2. So this will be nickname of first user and user2 will be nickname of second user. Now next is 5HDB on child on bind custom view list view on bind custom view. So here I check if this chat room one contains this key message. If it contains this key message, I display that message from chat room one in text view one. Then I check if this chat room one contains key sender. And if it contains this key sender, then I check if this key sender equals the Firebase auth get UID. If it equals Firebase auth get UID, I display nickname of user the first user in text view 2. Otherwise, I display nickname of second user in text view 2. Now, there is one button called text view 5, which is send button. 
So when this text view 5 is clicked, I create a new map variable, put a key sender and put the UID of the user as value. Then I put a key message and put edit text 1 get text as value and then I push this data to both these locations chat 1 and 5hdb chat 2 and then I clear this data. Now let's check this. Here is the app which contains a button called all users which takes me to this all users. Now here when I click on Aniket Kumar I see all the messages which I have sent to this person. Here you can send another message. This is third message. Now I can send it. Now if I go back, I click on another user, it doesn't show any message. If I click on a user, it doesn't it shows a message which I had sent earlier. Here I can send another message. I spray it will display that message along with my name. So here I have these three messages which I have sent and to a user I have sent these two messages and to this scar 4775 to him I will send another message how are you so these are all my messages to these three users now let's check them in database In the database, these are the locations, chat, it contains, so this is the data location which I used here. I have sent data to chat1 and chat2, chat1 and chat2 have the locations chat slash first user slash second user and chat slash second user slash first user. So here my name is Sanjeev and my user ID starts from ITK. So here it contains this key ITK. This is chat slash first user and these are the second users to whom I have sent messages. To this second user I have sent two messages. Sorry I have sent these three messages to this user. Then to this user I have sent one message and to this user I have sent these two messages and this is this user is U O double Y and to him I have sent these two messages. Now when I go to U O double Y I can see all the data which are at this location whereas this user can see all the data which is at this location. So this user has a key with my user id, this is my Firebase auth UID and it has a key with my UID and contains all the messages which I sent him. So we both have a different chat room but the messages in these chat rooms are same. So if he sends any message, his message will be at this location and it will also be sent to me at this location. And the key sender contains the user id of the sender so if i have sent the message it contains my user id if he sends a message in the same chat room it will be his user id so in this way we can create one to one chat in sketchware so that's all in this video thank you very much for watching this